And uh, the next construction uh, here, I will show you how to use the helix, uh, the profile, uh, quad face tools, and we will create uh, this tower. Uh, it will be useful, for example, uh, for people to go around. And there will be also some uh, secure rail made from glass. Okay, so we'll start uh, with the circle. And there will be also the helix along curve. I will show you how it's working. It is quite simple uh, plugin. Um, the circle, then I will select it and with the vertex tool I will move it up. And now we need to bend it. So we can also rotate it with the vertex tool. Uh, you must look out to not uh, rotate too much because uh, the lines will cross uh, with each other too much. So I will step back. This should be okay. Okay, we can select everything and we can select only the face. I need to also add the selection toys and we can remove it. Uh, so now uh, we have only the edges, so I will select the top edges at the bottom edges. Uh, so now we have the line for the profiles and then I will add the center line that will be used for the helix. So uh, in, we need to select it and we need to play with the helix along curve. First we need the radius on the bottom and on the top. The laps is 16 is okay. The section per lap I will add the 64. The more value here the more smooth will be the helix. Uh, okay we can uh, click OK and check the radius. It is 2233 millimeters. So the same value I will add for our helix. So again, uh, for the radius 1 and for the radius 2. And you can hit OK. So now we have the helix along the curve. And now uh, I need to explode because as a standard it's uh, make with some issue. So again I will select it and we can make a group. And now I will use the FFT plugin. Uh, if you will not explode it, there will be problem with the rescale, the helix, so it is better to explode it and make the group uh, by, by uh, yourself. Uh, first we need to select the points and with the control we need to rescale and try to fit to the profiles uh, and the lower also the same. Okay, this should be enough. Uh, so uh, the next uh, we need to select all the profiles. So it is impossible to select it by double click. So we'll use the as for you select with the same length and I will make the components. Uh, what is more, I will also add the inside line. So I will just go and copy the line from inside them in the components I will place in place and now it will be easier to move back with our uh, components because we need to first duplicate it so this is why we need the line inside then we will flip along uh, green then we need to move it back again and we also need to rotate it because I would like to connect uh, those profiles at the bottom. So this is how it look right now. Uh, so now we can work with the helix curve. So first I will select uh, the helix and with the vertex tool I will move it up to add the thickness. Uh, then uh, I need to use a joint push pull with round to add uh, the thickness mm, to the center. So this is where the people can walk on it. So we can accept it. 
and uh, what we can do still is uh, for example to add the profiles for the uh, outside lines so i will select the first one and in the profiles uh, we need to enter into the uh, components we need to select all of them with the s4u select and build a long path uh, and i think that they are too thick so we will decrease it to 20 again we need to select everything and oh maybe i will increase it to 40 now it should be okay and uh, what is more we can also add the rail for secure the people to do not drop down so to do this we need to enter again into the spiral uh, and we need to select the edge this is why we need to use the quad face tool uh, because as you can see this problem with the selection so with the quad we can select hole and then we can add vertex tool but you need to remember to remove the soft selection reduce to zero now we can move it up and now uh, we can select all the surfaces uh, also we need to select the first surface then we need to select with the quad uh, tool and this one uh, as you can see there is also at the beginning the bottom was selected so we need to deselect it manually and we can apply the material for the glass and this is how uh, the building will look like as a result so as you could see it was quite easy and with only few clicks and with only few plugins we can do similar construction maybe also i will apply the last material and that's it